Well, hello! This week's topic, developing the game Wraithbinder, has been buildings and also the player HUD. The player sort of mini-map and HUD features. Um, so, here we have, uh, we have players up in the top left now. And um, I'm just taking their models that um, that we're using for 3D 3D rendering of the rendering of the voxels, and just basically creating a 2D uh, render texture for them. It's super inefficient right now. It's like creating one render texture for each one of these um, enemies, and and play all the players basically have their own render texture. But anyways, I could I could make that more optimal by um, just rendering everything to one render texture. Also, the mini map on the top right is um, also a render texture that could all be optimized basically just put all that stuff into one render texture I think that'd be better there's maybe even a smarter way to do it than having to do render textures um, there's still some bugs with the issue with it too like uh, right now my player doesn't has his uh, health bar in dark green it should be should be bright green I don't know why that is um, and still working on the features of it too like like right now there's that uh, that enemy bark is flickering in and out um, but this is gonna be pretty cool I really like the way this gives you more of a team feel sure you've got the you've got the mini map on the top right showing you where your teammates are and that's really neat having the visibility of the map shared amongst your teammates it really gives you a sense of cooperation there um, however it's just really nice to be able to at a glance check up on the top left about their health like oh sweet my team's doing good. Their health is good. I'm just noticing more and more bugs as I talk here. <laughs> like, for example, Frez switched over to our team. Somebody killed Frez and made it made Frez onto our team. And Frez's health bar is still red. So, besides all the bugs with it, um, I'm really liking how it's adding this element to the game and making it, um, I don't know, just making more, you more aware of the status of the gold game. I'm sure there's other stuff I can add too. Uh, so the other big thing I've been adding this week is buildings. Um, I always had, uh, before, a long time ago when the game was actually called Load Ragger and all that, um, I had had buildings and recently I was like, it would be so much fun if I could create a turret. And so now you can create a turret. Check this out. If I, uh, I can build a bridge or a turret. Let's build a turret right here. I wonder why I was flashing red. That's another bug. It shouldn't have been flashing red. But anyways, if an enemy comes by here, this turret will fire a ghost sword at them. And uh, and you can harvest rocks or stone to build buildings with. And that's that number in the top left next to my players. Nat's uh, um, photograph. I don't know what, what the heck to call that image. Um, so I have 135 rock right now. I could build a lot of... Check this out. Oh, let's, let's see if this guy gets killed by my turret. Come on, dude. Oh, don't be afraid. Yeah, here we go. Another customer. Come right up. Come... Jeez. So let's build a fun bridge. Uh, let's just go, like, out here doing some stuff. Building a bridge. So we'll build a bridge there. I think this is really going to add a fun, creative element to the game. Um, this is this game is mostly about combat, uh, and creating turrets is a really fun way to uh, to build buildings. And I might even go with this sort of strategy for. Um, all right, team one is victorious. It's going to crash now as we teleport back. But yeah, the, cre the creative element of building stuff could be really fun. Maybe there's some levels where you your whole goal is just to carve out the entire level like Dungeon Keeper used to be. Or maybe you have to start with two bases way, way apart and you have to build bridges to get to each other. Um, or you have to build a bridge across the water. Or you can set down wards and cool places to, um, to make the vision for your team stay at that point. Or you can put up something that hides you or, you know tons of ideas you can do with buildings and having that resource of uh, having to grab stone really makes it fun and realistic as as far well not realistic but what's that what's the word for that where you just um, I don't know it, it sort of anchors it and grounds it in something when you have to pay to build a building so 
there you have it. There's some more development with Wraithbinder. Lots of progress being made, and it's a uh, really fun phase of this game right now. Just all these fun, creative ideas. I'm trying to add so many elements that make it so every time you play Wraithbinder, it could be like a totally different experience if you want to play that match differently. You can play with a different style, different strategy. And I'm hoping that I can put in enough enough creativity here that a player can also be very creative with their their strategy and their style of play and switch it up at runtime, change how they're they're playing and change the I don't know, change the fun they're having, change the the mood they're in, whatever. So, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you with another update later on. See ya.